What's going on guys, this is Mike Anoid and today I'll be unboxing a Skylanders Giants starter pack for the Nintendo Wii. Skylanders Giants was the second Skylanders game releasing in 2012, following up Spyro's Adventure which was a huge success in sales. Giants feature bigger figures with stronger attacks and abilities normal Skylanders don't possess, allowing Giants to access special areas in the game. A lot of people's first Skylanders game was Giants, and most people play Giants on Nintendo's most popular home console at the time of recording this video, the Wii. The Wii was the hottest game system back in 2007. The pack and game Wii Sports made the Wii a must own system, even your grandmother had one. Skylanders was supposed to be a Wii exclusive when the franchise debuted, but was decided to be released on other consoles as well. Skylanders is basically optimized for the Wii, even though later Skylanders games look like dog shit. I played Giants on the Xbox 360 when the game first came out, so I wanted to get a brand new Skylanders Giants starter pack for the Wii to not only play on the console, but to relive the moment I got the starter pack back in 2012. And that's exactly what I did, I picked this up for 15 bucks. So the box is pretty beat up, however it's still sealed so everything inside is still brand new. We just need to break the seal to open this up and pull out the tray of goods. Here is the game itself, which is in pristine condition. Inside we have the manual and the disc which looks amazing. Next we have two packages taped on the back of the tray. We have one with instructions on how to set up, and the other one has the more important stuff. We have the beautiful poster that showcases the 48 Skylanders and where you can put your stickers to keep track of your collection. And then we have the two, three stack cards and the stickers for the three starter pack characters. Giants was when they started to put the codes on the stickers, not sure if they do anything anymore. Flipping over to the front side, we can see the three Skylanders and the portal of power. We have our new Air Corps Skylander, Jetback, our Undead Series 2 Cinder, and our life giant tree rex and then finally we have the updated portal of power that connects via usb to the system you can tell this is a giant's portal since it has the clear ring around the base while the spiral's adventure portal has the green ring which that portal works with giants and is why they release a portal owner's pack so now that we unbox everything let's go ahead and pop this baby in the wii you I'm playing on the Wii U. The Wii U supports HDMI, all right? This is how I get gameplay. The Wii U is backwards compatible with Wii games. You just need a Wii remote to switch over to the Wii menu. Obviously, it's easier to get the Wii U version, but listen, man, you just gotta work with what you got. This is the first time I'm playing any Skylanders game on the Wii for more than one level. And yeah, the game doesn't look as good as the Xbox 360 version, but it's surprisingly pretty close. The motion controls for lifting up boulders is a little bit extra in my opinion but it's way easier to aim using the Wii remote when you're firing the turrets rather than using a joystick in the PS3 and Xbox 360 versions. Giants has a similar gameplay to Spyro's Adventure. The biggest difference is the giant mechanics all over each level. There are boulders that you can throw, floors to jump through, and the ability to break walls instead of using bombs. Core Skylanders are cool too, they can still hold their ground and open elemental gates. Giants is a really fun game, lots of stuff you can do and and playing it on the Wii is it's pretty good. A big reason I wanted to get the Wii version of Skylanders Giants was because this game allows you to reset creation crystals from Skylanders Imaginators. Unintentionally, of course. Toys for Bob had no idea this game would do this and ruined their attempt at preventing these things from selling secondhand. When your crystal is on the portal from the main menu, you go to the options, you go to general, and select the fix broken toys option, and you're pretty much set. It's a shame that we have to go through the extra step and make sure we keep this console just to reset these crystals but i think i'd be more disappointed if we didn't have this option at all and our crystals would be stuck with ligma for 15 dollars i say this was a pretty good purchase being able to unbox a skylander starter pack as an adult is just amazing even without the nostalgia you get the game the portal the three figures with their stickers and cards and the poster all brand new it's definitely a great way to go back to 2012 and play a fantastic game including the ability to reset creation crystals now if only i can get my hands on a dark creation crystal Maybe not for those prices. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know some of your favorite Skylander Giants experiences are down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. And of course, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Now, I guess I have to scan in all my figures. Yeah, this is going to take a hot minute.